Diaries. Hello, welcome. Episode 5, Hunter Diaries. Marino Crunch here today. And we just flew in via bush plane. Now, you remember in the last couple episodes... Ooh, I think I spot something. No. No way, dude. No way, dude. Oh, I thought it was a... It kind of looks like a moose, doesn't it? With the... What was that? I'm like in sensory overload right now. It sort of looks like a moose. So anyways, you guys remember in the last few episodes, I'm like... Kind of like losing it. Like, man, this map is huge, dude. This is crazy. This map is like so big, right? In the last... I think one of the episodes, I was just like in awe of how massive the map was. Well... Little did I know that was only one reserve. Now we've traveled to the Pacific Northwest, but see if you go here, there's actually four different reserves and we were in Europe, which is pretty crazy. So now we're a little bit closer to home here and uh, they just dropped me off. I like they, I haven't explored any of this map. We're going straight to the lookout point. I'm excited. I'm so glad that I didn't... By the way, big shout out to whoever posted that in the comments. I was reading through the comments of the last video. And the guy's like, you know, there's like four other reserves, right? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I knew that. <laughs> and then I look on the map. I would have literally walked around that entire map and like just out of pure stubbornness and been like, I'm getting a moose on this map. And there's not even, there's no moose on that map. If you guys stop, I feel sorry if anyone like got into the game and stopped watching the series there. They're like, Rhino Crunch said there's moose on this map. 10 days later, no moose. I'm just kind of taking it slow. I I can't believe I got a deer within the first two minutes of landing here and have seen three different uh, animal tracks. I hope you guys... Oh, 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 oh. What? A black bear. Okay, where's the wind? The wind's blowing right towards him, though. Let's, let's flank around up top here. I'm kind of scared. I have one shot for this gun. I don't think I should take it. I'm gonna go with the bow. Actually, I'll see if I can open with the with the rifle, and then I'll uh, I'll try to I'll try to dunk him with the the bow. I can't believe this, man. Look at this. What is this all over here? I I don't want to lose my track, but. Man, this is crazy. There's just track and wildlife everywhere. And calls and that's a little little jackrabbit. That's a good eating boy. Give me some fried rabbit. Mm. We're just gonna take it. Uh, we're running right into the wind. We're gonna spook him, I think. I'm trying to push on the edge of it, but we're pretty loud right now. I'm gonna have to slow down. I just want to get a little bit over this ridge so I can get better eyes on. Listen, see if we hear him again. I do need to get to a place where I can, uh, I can get some ammo and stuff though. Creep over this ridge line. Patience, discipline, persistence. That is the purpose of this series. Every time I make a series on YouTube, I try to ask myself, what am I, what's the purpose of this man? <laughs> what, what is the meaning of this? And uh, for this series, and obviously entertainment, I hope you guys, I hope you guys are liking the series. Make sure to like it if you are. I know there's only a few of you, but you know, to that little starfish, it matters. Ooh, what's that down there? I changed my tracking colors, but I think it defaulted. This is a really good spot. I like this spot. Let's just sit tight for a second. I 
I don't have any sort of lure or scent or collar for this guy, so it's going to be all stalking. I want to see what that is, actually. So, yeah, I just want to, you know, really want to take my time take my time in this game and enjoy it you know it's about the journey really and then at the end of this series i'm definitely gonna i'm definitely gonna revamp one of my old series i think it's uh it's time to go full circle and i'm exploring options i don't want to say anything because i don't want to be held like i'd rather just surprise you guys and disappoint you if that makes sense like if i start playing I don't know, just for example, not saying this is going to be the series, but like Arma 3 or Rust or something like that. A game that requires... See, that's a blacktail now. Oh, he's right there. I'm taking the shot. We need the, we need the meat. That was a beautiful shot, dude. Man, I'm getting good with this bow. Pretty sure that spined him, but still. Um, but yeah, I'm exploring options. I wanna, I wanna definitely play, get back to to my roots as far as the channel goes. Just the patient, you know, give an accurate representation of the game, give an accurate representation of it instead of these, you know, epileptic seizure inducing three minute meme videos where they're jump cutting between everything and it's just we're gonna get another one be patient discipline this is discipline we were already patient now it's all about discipline come on crest that hill oh, he's gonna run right up on me dude crawling I can't I don't think he's gonna come down here ah oh, this bad spot this is a really bad spot we stalk better in the rain let's go so yeah oh my god Oh, dude, these shots, man. That is a beautiful buck. Oh, my goodness. What a gorgeous. It's a blacktail, too, I think. Let's see. How big she, How big is she? Oh, that, was a, that was a double lung shot. Wow. 105 pounds. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see this guy. Another double lung, no heart shot. That's okay. 160 pound buck. Trophy rating 125. 20 yard shot. Not bad. Not bad. What a great way to start our adventure here in the Pacific Northwest. So there's going to be bears. There's going to be moose. There's going to be... A lot of stuff. Mallard and... Ooh, there's the bear tracks, I think. I'm pretty sure these are going to be the bear tracks because they're so big. Maybe. No, these are deer tracks. Are these the same tracks? I mean, this is pretty good. Three deer right off the top. Let's, uh... Let's just keep on this. We don't necessarily... See, I knew these were bear tracks, man. They were huge. They're so much bigger than the regular tracks. He's walking too. Be careful too. when hunting black bear. Not only are they unpredictable, but they also make very little sound and leave few tracks. You can sneak up on one without realizing it. Fortunately, they'll probably notice you before you them and will keep their distance. We're still in the wind. Let's try to get this black bear. Didn't this guy say that they're... 
<gasps> oh, no way. Is he stalking the moose? Uh oh. What? Is he? I think he's stalking the moose. There's two moose. Okay, we see where he's at. He looked right at me. I don't know if I can hunt with the bow on these guys. There was another moose over here. There was two moose. Did we? Did he spook too? I thought we were about to wish witness some like National Geographic stuff right there, man. Oh, look at he's out there. Oh, what a beautiful moose. No, what he's he's trotting now. Let's keep an eye on him. Can he see us or something? I'm not sure. So let's just think that he's going this way. Yeah, it's our scent, man. Oh, there's the other moose. No, there are three. Oh, that one's a big one. That's a big animal right there. I'm taking the shot, bros. Just kidding. I can't because of the stupid uh, belly crawling all the way over there. I can't. This gun is such a low caliber gun. It's like shooting a 22 at him. So the bear got up on his hind legs and I thought he was about to attack the moose, but he was actually looking at us. I don't know if it's going to be possible to bow hunt bear without making like a deer stand or a blind somewhere or something. We're going to crawl this field. We're Oh my God. This is honestly kind of pointless because of the, uh, the wind. And by the way, can we just take a moment to enjoy our lives out here in the bush? Look at this. This is so beautiful. Oh yeah. Wait for the sun. Wait for the sun. Wait for it. Wait for it. Beautiful. Yeah, this is kind of pointless with the wind. Let's uh, let's go to the lookout station and then to the hunting camp. We made it. All right, we're at the uh, lookout here. And we're going to open some of this country up and see. Oh, it's so beautiful. I can tell. Dude, I I really, really want to go to Alaska. I think me and, uh, me and the wife are going to go look at houses up there next year. Because this is like, man, this is so beautiful, dude. Like, just look at this. Oh, my God. This is gorgeous, dude. Is this real? No, it's not. It's a video game. Reality is even better than this, which is a crazy part. <laughs> which is the whole irony. Oh, yeah. What am I supposed to do here? Let me just see this. All right, Doc. Give me the skinny on this area. So we have the lakes. A lot of different duck species, probably. That's it. There we go. All right. So being a California man, I am a man of mountains and I want to go, I want to get up in the country, the high country here. So we're going to go, we're going to be heading North on this map. I think that should be our next objective. But first we should definitely go to our uh, lookout here. Or another look out our our campsite. Oh, beautiful. Oh, look at this. This is nice. We don't normally get these houses in the shots, but just imagine Imagine living here, dude. How crazy would this be? It's beautiful. This is a beautiful camp. Just sit here, hang out with the kids, hang out with some bros, cook and meat, go fishing. Do some chop some firewood. Let's unlock this. Oh, they should show your character there. This would be a nice little cabin to own. Come visit in the summer. 
Kids would love it, man. Kids would just take off in the forest. Like, all right, see you later, Dad. Like, all right, watch out for bears. Let's see, what do we need here? We definitely need more arrows. Could never have enough arrows. And we actually have enough to get a handgun. So I'm gonna get the, ooh, Panther Magnum. That thing sounds like, oh no, we gotta get the Rhino 454. We got to, dude. Even though it's 48,000, it's very expensive, but what else? What other rifles can we buy? Oh, we can buy the 223. Well, it lacks a punch to take on big game. It's highly useful, extremely flat trajectories and accuracy. You make a perfect tool for hunters to kill varmints at a long range. No. See, the problem is, is we're going to need... We're going to need some more ammo. Okay, so here's what I think we do. What's the next gun we unlock? The 270? Classic look. Is it packed state of the art technology? It's a premium and great variation. Community players. I don't know what that is. What about the regular Huntsman? Where's the 308? 338. Ooh. We need a high rifle score. I don't think we're going to get that. I think it'd be better for us to get a, a handgun. I think that's the best decision. Ooh, hollow point. Designed for rapid expansion of in 34. Three fit injuries in Magnum and revolvers known for stopping his power cartridge suitable for small to medium sized game at close range. It's a very powerful large bore revolver cartridge that can take on most medium and large size game at range. Okay, so. We're going to get the handgun. We got to get the handgun. Expensive, expensive uh, venture here. So we're going to have to shoot iron sights with this. <laughs> we don't even have like a glow or anything. It's just like standard iron sights. Let's go. This gun looks amazing, by the way. All right, let's continue. What is that? That's an owl? I think that's an owl. I'm gonna stay on this game trail here. Hey! It works! The sights work! What the heck? They weren't working before. Oh my gosh. That makes me very happy. Those sights are awesome. There's some mallard ducks. Should I take the shot? Imagine. Are they landing? Oh, they're landing. Oh yeah, I'm going for it. We're going to have to crawl for this. This is a pretty good opportunity right here to test this pistol out. They're going to spook as soon as I shoot. Should we reload? Did we reload? We didn't reload. Let's reload. This guy's a machine. Look at this. <laughs> Look how he... It's a pretty far shot, actually. <laughs> I don't know if you can shoot them when they're on the lake like that. Let's get a little bit closer. Three of them. Uh, one's pretty close to the water. That one to the left is the closest, but those other two are grouped up. Yeah, let's wait till these two intersect. Or all three of them and open up on the right of the bush here. 
We got a great position. Okay, hold on. My heart's pumping real fast. This guy's getting closer. Two of three, not bad. Woo! Can we actually go out on the water here? Oh yeah, we can. Yeah! Three point seven three pounds. What shot was that? Oh man, that just blew right through him. Do these float out to water here? Or do these... Is this... Oh, I guess they... Oh, yeah, yeah, they come to you. Okay, cool. That's all it took, man. What the heck? Cool. So I guess that's one way to get your handgun up. Let's see, what is that? What kind of animal is that? Let's see, that's a hawk. We're not shooting that. Cool. We spooked all the game in the area, but still. Awesome. We just heard a moose call. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. That's a long shot. That's too long. Let's get closer here. Lord Jesus, please. Don't let that moose go anywhere. I don't care if it's a female. It's 800 pounds of meat right there, buddy. That's moose burgers for the next year. You guys are all invited to come over and eat some moose burgers with me. If I get this moose, otherwise we're having, uh, we're having some duck. I'm not really a fan of duck. No, no, no. Stick with the plan, dingus. I don't know. Duck's, duck's all right. I just... It doesn't really tickle my fancy. I'm more of like a... I don't really like dark meat. I don't know. Maybe I just... I haven't had it enough, and I haven't had it prepared. Like, I've never killed a duck and eaten my own duck. I think if I did that, that'd be a whole different ball game. It's always been like at a, uh, whoa, what is going on with my bow right now? I can like see through the water. It's always been in, like at a restaurant that I've eaten duck. She's still there. That's a long shot. See, the problem is, is it's hard for me to gauge. It's hard for me to gauge distance because of their size. It's like the bison. I hope she's not spooking off. Don't spook off, baby. Come on, sweet thing. Come on back here now. Let me get low. I don't wanna I don't wanna risk it. I have to have patience for this. This is a big animal. Closer we get, the better. Oh, I want to get up on this. It's actually, we have no elevation. I can't see. I think she's right over this death blade right here. Close, I can get to her. Yeah, she's right there. She's not going to see us. We're going to literally pop up right on her. I hope she didn't spook. I think.
think we'd hear her if she did. Where's your boyfriend at? I want to hit him, not you. Dunk on him with one of these broadheads. She spotted her. Ugh. I think I could go right here. So there's this little defilade and then there's a little hill right here. And I'm trying to clear this hill because I don't want the brush to block the shot. Oh, she sounds like she keeps going towards the brush. I think we can make we can take the shot for sure if we stand up on this corner corner of this. What is this? I don't know what these bushes are. Get nice and wide. Ignoring the deer. Okay, I hit her. That looked like a good shot. Oh, there's the mail. There's the mail. There's the mail. That looked like a good shot, but... Wait a sec. Is that the blood shot? The question is, is I don't know if I can actually kill a moose with a compound bow. It might just say like flesh wound or something. That is so creepy how these go down. What the heck, dude? Of course there's that there's gonna be a deer right next to where we're Oh, she's back. Multiples. That's a vital hit. Beautiful. It's a kill shot. Oh my god. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Another beautiful shot. So that answers our question. You can hit him through the brush. That was a buck. I saw that rack and I was like, I'm taking this shot, dude. I don't even care. I'm through the bushes. This guy's going down. Oh, lung shot. Male, 163 pound, 134 trophy rating. Beautiful. Okay, let's get back on our original uh, trail here which is the moose trail. I can't believe how much. Oh, I think that's her. She's up though. Oh, this is the bleed rate medium. Okay. She's not injured. That must be a different moose. This is a great spot. Duck, deer, moose. That was her. Let's go get this other one too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is her. This is another vital hit. Yep. 
Wait, these are two different tracks. Okay, let's follow this track. This was our original one. We can actually probably sneak up on uh, this other one too. The thing is, is I don't know how long they're going to take to die. So we got three moose, dude. We got to go for it. We've gotten three bison. We can get three moose. We're going to sneak right up on her while she's bedding and just put her to rest. She's standing up now. She's got babies with her? No. Okay, and then after this, I'm not taking any more shots, I promise, all right? No more. We got two so far, two vital hits. There's so much animals out here. Is that a bear? I can't tell what that is. Freaking deer just ran up on me and another moose over there. This is why I like using this, uh, this compound bow. It's cause I don't, bump all the game out of the area as soon as I shoot once. Let's see, you know, let's do some testing here. I want to see how close I can get to her. Wind's almost in her face though. Take that shot. I don't know the range. She spooked. We're not going to take that shot either. Okay, let's continue with our original track. No, 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 no. Wait, that's her? Was that her? No way. Let's see here. How did she get a vital hit? I don't know if that's her. Let's this let's stick with this one. This is a medium blood trail from a vital hit, for sure. So I think they may, they might make like the moose hunting. Is this more blood? No. They might make the moose like initially hunting easy, but they make the tracking hard just to like balance it out. But there's tracks everywhere. Hmm. And not the ones we need. Uh oh. Not good. There's our one track that we... Other moose. Okay, here we go. Droppings, fresh. There's, there's like track all over here. Oh my God. But there's not any, here we go. This is what we need right here. Okay, she went up this way. She's running up this way. There must've been like a buck and another cow, sow, what are they called? Moose females with her? Let's go back to the track. Okay, 
straight up this way. And there's nothing. I guess it'd be safe to assume, yeah, yeah, I was just gonna say, it's safe to assume they all stuck together. So we'll just follow the general tracks. But see, then this wraps around the other way. No, nope. then she came back up this way. Yep, she's still bleeding too. Uh-oh, low bleed rate. How does she go from a vital hit to a low bleed rate? She's got to be dead somewhere then, right? Low. Do you have, I wonder if you have to hit him multiple times. I got two vital hits on both of them. That might be, uh, I mean, might be our girl. No, a warning thump. Dude, if I heard a jackrabbit do that, I've never heard a jackrabbit do a warning thump. I would be terrified. I'd be like, what the hell was that noise? It sounded like a bear hawk. Still low bleed rate. Who's that? Another warning thump. Still got blood. I wonder if it's going to taper off. Oh, I think I see her. Yeah. Our first moose. Oh my gosh. She made me work for it. Thank you. Thank you. What a. Oh, look at that shot, dude. Right in the shoulder. Should have been behind the shoulder. So we hit her in the right lung. 823 pounds of meat. Zero trophy rating. That's okay. Okay, now we'd have to do the ethical thing and we have to go back and we have to find the other blood trail that was a vital hit. So as long as you get a vital hit, that's uh that's a guaranteed kill. I probably could have got three. We still haven't got a buck yet, but we'll get one. That blacktail, man, that blacktail just rolled right up on me. I didn't even get a chance to really savor the moment with that blacktail. Pretty sure it's going to be down here. We're going to go find that other vital hit. Let's see. Let me look at the map. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. Dang, 460 yard track for that? That's no joke, man. We're gonna go track that other one. Cool. Cool, cool. That was the first one. The second one that we had to belly crawl across that field is going to be over here. It's weird how this whole area looks unfamiliar. Okay, this looks familiar. This is where I hit her. She was like over here somewhere. Right? Because this was the bush I was trying to clear, I believe. Be easier to see from this side. Yeah, I was creeping. Is that her? No, that wasn't her. I just spooked her. 
Okay, hold on. Was it this side? No, it was right here. This was the this was the little hill. Did the track did I lose the tracks? No, those are the ducks I killed. Okay, okay, I see where I see where it's at. I killed the ducks. We started cruising. We saw her. She was like right. Where was she? She's like right here. No, she was farther down here, actually. Cause those these are the ducks we smoked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was down here. Yep, and this is the hill. We crawled across this to get to her. And then we wanted to clear the brush, so we wrapped around to the right. We took our shot. And she got hit about right. No, this is when we... No, 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 no. We hit the... We hit... What did we hit first? I think we hit the blacktail first. Yeah, we hit the blacktail first. And then... I don't remember where my second shot was. I guess it could have been the same moose too, right? Oh, there it is. Jackpot. It was not the same moose. Let's find this one now. Yeah, see, look. Medium blood rate. She's going to be closer. I don't think it's going to be a 450-yard track. Coyote better not be eating my meat, boys. Or I'm going to be wearing a coyote hat later tonight. Yeah, this is where we kind of just like lose the trail, right? So let's just assume she's stuck with the... Dang, medium bleed rate and then she just disappears into the cut. Okay, hold on. How is that even possible? This is a pretty wide area. We got to get our... We got to get our tracking ability up. Can we actually do that? Let me see. Do we have directional track comes more accurate and narrow? We have one of the points. We have another point available too. Let's do that. We're gonna buy that. Also, we need to, what's our other skill here? We don't have any perk points. Oh, we have one, one perk point available. So we could either get decreased wobble when moving in A mode using any weapon. Increase the time an arrow can be drawn in A-mode for fatigue sets in. I think this is important because we spend a lot of time. Uh, all right, so let's kind of clear these tracks here. Hold on. There's this one, and then, then the, there's this one. We spend a lot of time drawing down on this. So it could have been... Also, to make things a little bit easier, let's... Do this. I think it's under game, yeah. Active track color is gonna be torch red. Inactive is gonna be red. Wait, no, that's super confusing. Never mind. Inactive should be yellow. That's how we had it before. I don't know why it reset. Okay, so we have the red track there and then we have the yellow tracks everywhere. So we're looking for another red track. I'm just gonna fan out this whole area. This, this moose was bleeding at a medium rate. So I have a feeling that she's gonna be close. It's just a matter of finding the second set of tracks. I'm gonna follow this for a little bit. I don't think she went. She didn't go with this guy. Whoever this was, she did not go with him. And I'm just gonna fan out and like cross this. There it is. Jackpot! 
medium bleed rate. Yep. A little bit more accurate about tracking this too, which is nice. What the heck was that? Black bear? We don't have time for it. We'll save that for the next episode. This is a long hunt, man. The moose definitely make you work for it. Yeah, this is way easier. These colors. Warning thump. Yep, here she is. I knew she'd be closer. Yes! Two of them! I almost gave up, man. Persistence! Persistence! That is the name of the game. We lived it. Oh yeah, another shot. So when we aim at these, we need to really start aiming for behind the shoulder, like right here. Cause it seems like the scapula keeps. No, we missed, we missed the scapula. Okay, so I guess we're aiming in a good spot. I normally aim for like right here. Where is her heart at? She's got a small heart. I guess, see the problem with aiming for the heart though is you're worried about this bone right here. There's like a 50% chance you're gonna hit that bone. Double pen through both lungs though, that's fantastic. Another 800 pounds of meat. Tracking distance, 1.52 miles, oh my God. Oh man, how cool is that? Two moose in the new hunting res. Good stuff, dudes. Let's get into the word of the day. So that's it, that's all I have for you guys. Let's get into some scripture. I love sharing God's word at the end of my videos. I invite you to stick around. I'm not trying to convert you. I'm not trying to tell you what to do or not to do or what church to go to or what religion to believe or what religion not to believe. I just like to share God's message, Jesus's message for us and the peace and love and every all the all the wonderful things that comes along with that so i hope you stick around to stay and hear it if you don't i don't take it personal i get it um so let's jump right into it this is going to be a long one but trust me it'll be worth it at the end so this is going to be uh the book of mark and just to set this up jesus is about to go on his ministry and he's approached the title of the chapter is the rich young ruler so let's get right into it mark 10 chapter 17 as Jesus started on his way, a man ran up to him and fell on his knees before him and said, Good teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good, Jesus answered. No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and mother. Teacher, he declared, all these I have kept since the day I was a boy. Jesus looked at him and loved him. One thing you lack, he said, go sell everything you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. At this, the man's face fell. He went away sad because he had great wealth. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, how hard is it for the rich to enter the kingdom of God? The disciples were amazed at his words, but Jesus said again, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were even more amazed and said to each other, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible with God. So don't worry if you, you know, if you got a lot of money, it doesn't mean you're not going to heaven. I'm just, because everything is possible with God. I just want to put that out there. Okay. Uh, I think that the important message here is our value system, right? Now there's a couple different ways I wanted to like talk about this. The first way is like this guy had faith enough to come up to Jesus and know that he's God and know that he had authority on who enters heaven and he still had, he lacked the faith to know that everything he was doing right. It's almost like internally he knew that there was still more maybe. And God instructed him or Jesus instructed him and said, sell everything you have and come and follow me. Now, 
why would God, the question here is why would God allow this man to live in such abundance, right? Because I believe that God, everything good comes from God. And if God is going to bless your life with prosperity, he's going to bless. And even bad things that God allows to happen is good because all things work in accordance to his will and his purpose and his glory. But the thing that's important, I think, is why would God allow this man to have this overabundance and then tell him to give it to the poor and take after him? And I think this is ex- this is more symbol symbolic or more of a metaphor than it is actual literal. This guy, and I think that he was literally saying, yes, go sell your stuff and come and follow me because I'm God. Like, obviously, I mean, he didn't say I'm God, but... Obviously, that would be more important, and I don't know why he would ask, like, if you were in God's presence and you were still asking, like, what else do I need to inherit eternal life? I think that your kind of value system is out of whack, and that's what this guy was. His value system was not in line with God's. He was more concerned about his possessions in a world that we all know is dust. Okay, if we can agree on one thing, we can agree on the idea that we live in a carbon-based world and at any moment a meteor can annihilate earth at any moment you can die and your carbon-based body will become the same material that it was it it lived upon right from dust we are we dust will return everyone dies is the point okay everybody dies and we can all agree with that and you can't take anything that you acquire while you're here with you except your soul and that connection with God. That is the only thing I believe that is going to transcend. And God knew that he was, he was connected. He was, he was, he's, his value system was connected with this, this property or these riches, these things that he could not bring with him. These, he's investing time, you know, rich people, I think, invest a lot of time in their wealth, right? They they invest a lot of their time and energy and their mindset and their body. You know, wh- how am I going to spend this money? How am I going to make a return on this money? And where is this money going? And it's this, this almost enslavement of your mind that you're constantly worried about money, right? You're constantly worried about all your money. And I think that God wants us all to just really focus on the things that are important and that relationship with him and that knowing Christ and having that connection with him. So this message today is to encourage you, if you're listening to this, that there are more important things in life than what's on your phone right now. There's more important things in life, unless it's, you know, a text message from your wife saying she's in the hospital or your son's sick or your brother got in a car accident. For the most part, where you're investing your time and energy are fruitless. And spending time on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of these things, if they are not bringing you closer to your father, if they are not doing those things, I feel like it's just a waste, man. And if you want to spend your life doing those things, God bless you and you have that choice. You have that free will to do whatever you want. But I just want to encourage you that when you seek the source and you seek Father God and you go you go to him, and you go to him for your worries and you go to him for your likes and you go to him for your retweets and you go to him for worried about where you're going to move, how you're going to pay for this, who's going to who's going to take care of this, who's going to take care of that. When you go to him for all of that, everything else is already laid out in front of you. And I think that's what Jesus was doing is he just really wanted this rich and I guess the question is, did he make it to heaven? Yes, I believe he did. I absolutely believe this guy is chilling in heaven right now, but he had to disconnect. You know, it doesn't say really what else happened to this. Like we don't see him later on in the Bible. He's like, hey, remember me? You told me to sell all my stuff and now I'm here. So I'd like to believe that he did take what Jesus said to heart because he did have the faith to know that God that Jesus was representing God and was an authority. And he did have the faith to know that this, this person would give him the insight and how to live a holy, perfect life. And I'm not saying that we can all 
be like this guy. Some of us are just struggling with some of the stuff that Jesus mentioned. But I think that it's important as a reminder to know that, and even if you are rich, it says all things are possible. As long as you don't care about the things that you have, I think that's what's important. As long as you see it as just a rental, as you see everything you own is just a rental, it's just temporary, nothing is forever. And it's just a temporary rental that you just get to enjoy for a little bit and everything comes back to God. I think that's what's important. So I hope this helps some of you today. I hope this spoke to some of your hearts. And I just, uh, I love this, man. I love being able to preach at the end of my videos. It's such a huge blessing and honor. And even though I don't get to hear your guys' reactions or see your face or any of that, it's just, it's, it's amazing. It's incredible. So anyways, all right, guys, I will see you soon. Peace and God bless.